Why are you taking cold showers, Paul? Good question. Why cold showers? Well, popular proven benefits online are it wakes you up to produce inflammation, gives you energy, boosts your metabolism, good for your skin, fight basic illness, naturally elevate mood. And cold in particular can be leveraged to improve mental health, fortify the immune system, reduce depression, world peace, improve circulation, muscle recovery, unlock the secrets of the Big Bang. Cold temperatures get the body to burn more fat. But I don't care about any of those benefits. My deadline for my next video was coming up soon. I was running out of time that I set with my friends. I saw other people doing this challenge, so I got the idea from there. And finally, I thought that it would be funny. I so did not want to take a cold shower that I paced around in my room back and forth for over two hours until I finally worked up the courage to just take the plunge. Oh man, that was way worse than I thought. If I were to sum that up, that would be pretty, pretty, pretty bad. I'm actually still shivering. My chest is like shaking right now. So I thought day one mission completed, but something happened that was unexpected when I was in bed about 20 minutes after my cold shower and my stomach started feeling a little uncomfortable. My stomach is very sensitive to the cold, which is why even if I was a girl, I could never wear a tank top because a cold stomach leads to kind of painful stomach over time. For my body with a sensitive stomach, this cold shower is probably not the best thing. It is past midnight and my stomach is still hurting as if I ate too many frozen things and it's not going away immediately if you're curious what this is it's mouth tape i'm sleeping with mouth tape that's a different topic it is the next morning my stomach is still hurting before and after breakfast and you might think paul maybe it was something you ate even though all i ate yesterday was just rice vegetables and bread um, and I was fine before the shower. So let's give it one more try and see if after the second shower, if I'm still in pain, we'll see. Okay, so I came back from the gym, just gonna rinse my body only, but cold shower nonetheless. Just like yesterday, my stomach is immediately hurting after the shower and it's currently making some noises. I think it's protesting about being shocked. We'll see if the pain lasts for over two hours like yesterday. So this wasn't working out for my body and I decided to quit. What? You're a little bitch, Paul. You only did two cold showers. Fair enough, but I'm not gonna keep taking a cold shower and keep having diarrhea afterwards, cause <laughs> that's not worth it, man. As soon as I stopped my cold showers, my stomach got better immediately and I had no problems after that. So did cold showers work for me? No. Did I see any benefits? No, I just had stomach pain and diarrhea. Clearly some people respond favorably to cold showers and cold plunges, but I think it's a very individualistic thing where just because it works for some people doesn't mean it works for everyone. How you respond depends on your body type and your health conditions. So I definitely wouldn't recommend cold showers to everyone. It is not a one-stop shop solution with a bunch of benefits for everyone. But hey, I guess the only way to know if it works for you is to try it. Anyways, 1% better every day, baby.